Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to unlock your oneplus 2 and also how to root and install magisk manager on your oneplus 2 device because I have all the oneplus devices videos available on my uh, channel oneplus 2 and oneplus 1 was still pending so today I'll make on oneplus 2 and I'll also cover oneplus 1 very soon so guys to root your device make sure you have taken complete backup of your device if you have not taken to take a backup because uh, rooting and unlocking bootloader will, will completely erase your internal memory so make sure to take backup for that and also you require few files which you can see on your right hand side on my computer screen so these are the files required I'll mention all the links in the description below you can download from there and let's get started so right hand side guys you can see I have a ADB folder available in which I have also made in subfolder for oneplus 2 because I have uh, all the oneplus devices oneplus 3, 3t and 5 so I need to segregate everything in a proper manner for the installation process first thing install ADB on your PC or desktop after that you need to have main files which are required are TWRP recovery magisk version 13.3 as of now this is the latest one I'll give you the main link from where you can download if any new magisk available you can download from there for safety purpose do download magisk uninstaller and oneplus 2 stock rom guys these are the things which are required so first thing what you need to do is first you need to unlock the bootloader for that go to settings go to about phone and under this you need to tap build number seven times so I have already enabled this option so I go back once you tap seven times you'll get this developer option here in which you have to enable OEM unlocking advanced reboot and the last one is USB debugging mode once all these three things have been enabled first what we'll do is we'll reboot a device to fastboot mode and unlock the bootloader so for that reboot your device and after your device boots to bootloader what you have to do is on your PC hold shift and right click in the same oneplus 2 folder or adb folder where you have uh, copied all these files so you'll get an option of open powershell or you'll get open command prompt select any of these and you'll see something like this available here so in which what you have to do is we'll execute few commands here to unlock your device so first we'll check whether a device is connected in fastboot mode or not so for that what you have to do is you have to type fastboot devices and hit enter so you'll see something like this with number and alphabetic sequences so once you see this after that what you have to do is you need to unlock your bootloader for that command is fastboot oem unlock so once you type this just hit enter and you will see some message on your uh, mobile and I will also tell you what option to be selected on the mobile so you will see something like unlock will erase user data continue yes or no so you need to tap yes and wait for your device to reboot after your device reboots complete the initial setup then again you need to go to the settings and do the same process of enabling developer option so we go here build number seven times we tap here we again go back and in this now OEM unlocking will be already enabled so you don't worry about that advanced reboot USB debugging and now again boot your device to fast boot mode once your device boots to fast boot mode you need to flash the TWRP recovery available on your desktop so just copy the name of this and paste it here giving command fast boot flash recovery and the name of the file followed with i.img so just hit enter and process should complete so once you are done with that after that you need to power off your device 
by holding power button for few seconds and then use volume down and power key together to boot to TWRP recovery. Then your TWRP recovery will pop up and you'll see some message like this installing zip or performing ADB operation may still modify the system partition. Just and tick never show this screen and allow modification. So after this is done the internal memory of your device will be deducted on your C. You need to copy magisk to internal memory and place it here. So after this is done just go to install and tap on magisk confirm to flash. So now we have rooted our device so what we'll do is we'll just hit reboot system and wait for the device to reboot. So now your device boots up and what you do first, first go to play store add your google account and download an application called root checker. So I have already added my google account so first what you do is you go to applications and open magisk manager and give specific permissions so you can see all the starting three things have green tick mark on that so now we go back and we'll open root checker application to check whether the device is rooted or not so I have few information of my device and the android version running on my device after that just tap verify root and super user will ask for request just grant that and you can see you have a message congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so guys this is a proper method to root to your device and unlock bootloader so if you guys are facing any kind of issues doing this process do let me know in the comment section or drop a message on my facebook page so that's all in this video guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.